Welcome to this demonstration of using REST APIs with Federated Access. We're going to start at Cloud Central. And from here, we're going to make sure that we're logged in. I am logged in uh, currently. And the first thing we're going to do is we are going to go to My Services. And on the left hand side of My Services, we can see that we have a link to APIs. This gives us API documentation for NetApp Cloud Central, Cloud Volume Service, Cloud Volumes on Tap, and Cloud C. Let's look at how to authenticate. Communicating with an authenticated endpoint is a two step process. First, you acquire a Java Web Access token from an uh, authenticated endpoint, and then you send an API request with that access token. So, every API request you send will have that access token included within it. So let's look at how we do this for Federated Access. First, we have to get a refresh token. And as you see here, we have ones for Cloud Manager and a separate token for Cloud Central. So depending on who you want to communicate with. So let's get the Cloud Manager uh, refresh token first. We'll get that and we'll copy it to the clipboard. We've got to make sure we save it somewhere because it is only available on the screen at this point in time. If we leave the screen, we don't have access to it anymore. And while we're here, we might as well go ahead and get the refresh token for our Cloud Central as well. Let's return to our steps for acquiring an access token. We need to make an HTT POST request to this particular URL. So let's copy that. I will use the free tool Postman to send API requests. You can use Windows, Mac, or Linux version. Send an HTTP POST request to this URL. And then we need to include a header, and that header should be content type application JSON. So let's put that in now. And finally, we need to include this JSON text in the body. We can post it in as, as raw text in JSON format. And we're going to need to replace the your refresh token with the refresh token that we acquired earlier. So let's copy that in now. Now send the HTTP request. And we get back a response that has a bit of information in it. Let's see which piece we need. We'll return to our authentication information page and it says to extract the access token. So that's the piece of information we'll need to get back out of that response. We save the access token for future reference. Now repeat the same steps to get an access token for Cloud Central. Now that we have an access token, let's see how we can use it in our API request. You do that by adding that token to an authorization header. Let's look at the API request available for NetApp Cloud Central. The one we're most interested in right now is to do a post command to apiservices.cloud.netapp.com that gets a list of all of our cloud managers that are in Cloud Central. So let's create a new request. And the, it will be a git command. And the URL will be the URL that we saw before um, from the other page with OCCM slash list OCCM at the end. We need to add an authorization type of a bearer token and then we cut and paste in our access token for Cloud Central. There is no body with this request so really at this point we're ready to go. All we need to do is to hit send. We get back a response that has the on-command Cloud Manager names and in my case, it's only one Cloud Manager. Now let's look at the documentation for Cloud Volumes ONTAP APIs. For Cloud Volumes ONTAP, the API endpoint is Cloud Manager IP address 
slash OCCM slash API. This documentation has good examples, but the best way to find the Cloud Volumes on Tap APIs is to go to the API documentation from within Cloud Manager itself. The API that we will use will be the one that gets all the working environments that are available to the logged in user. So first we have to put in the URL address and that you know is automatic cloud manager IP address slash OCCM slash API slash working environment. We need to set up our authorization bearer token just the same but this time we need to make sure that we get the access token that's for cloud manager. paste in the access token and this one also has no body so we can just click send and we get back a all the uh, an array of all of the working environments that are in our cloud manager account before ending I did want to show you one thing to watch out for when using regular access and that is these instructions here have about sending your email address your password and an audience and a client ID. But the audience and client ID are for Cloud Central in this particular example. As you note here below, it says, certain applications may require a different audience or different client IDs. So let me show you how to get that for Cloud Manager. You send the API request shown here to the IP address of your Cloud Manager. We will use a curl command, just like in the example. Note that the IP address you see here is the Cloud Manager private IP address. It is referencing the same Cloud Manager that we were referencing with a public IP address. I stored the values in an info.txt file. Let's cat that info.txt file to see the values that we want. So in this case, we would need to use this audience and this client ID. The domain is the same as for Cloud Central. Going back to the regular access instructions, we see that if we replace this audience and this client ID with the values that we just got, we can get back the access token for Cloud Manager. And you can now use your Cloud Manager APIs. Thanks for watching.